Alright, hello ladies and gents, and welcome to the first part of my Risen Let's Play. Um, recently my computer got a, a virus, so I uh, had to wipe everything, so now I'm just, you know, using a clean slate. I installed this game, you know, thinking I'd play it a little bit, because, well, I've never actually finished it. In fact, I've started this game like like 10 times, but I've never really gotten very far. And this time, I made a, uh, I made a new character and everything. Well, let's just load this up real quick. And, um, and I got, pr I'm actually going all right. I'm in chapter two, whatever that means. And I decided, you know, I wanted to do a let's play of it. Actually, really, I wanted to try out the mage thing, and I was looking for an excuse to uh, create a new character, and I thought, hey, I haven't done Let's Plays in a while. Let's do that. So, that's what we're going to do. But first things first, I just want to show off a little bit. Or, not really show off, because I'm in Chapter 2, so not very far along. This was not raining last time I was here. Um, for those of you who have actually played this game before, if I actually get anybody who's actually played this game before watching this, I'm... I'm, uh, on this tune, I'm using the Don, like, the, the, the Don, uh, Esteban is his name. I'm following him. I'm a hunter for him. And I'm level 13. I've got a bunch of stuff, you know, messing around with some alchemy, some smithing, you know, I know how to open locks, because the Don's guys are basically the thieves, and then you've got the Order, which is, like, I don't want to say the good guys, because they seem to be doing brainwashing. But they're also the people that it seems to be that you're going to be using to get magic. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it, so. New game. Let's start this. Let's do this! This, uh, this game on the starting up thing is, is pretty difficult, so you might see me die a few times. Uh, actually, I don't know. I've gotten kind of used to the melee combat, so I might not. I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out together. And also, this will be semi-blind for me, because I've never done the opening thing. For longer than humanity never. remembers, the gods ruled. Humanity served as slaves, but life never remains in balance. Power passed to man, and man banished the gods from the world. But something was released. Something older than man has risen. Given their freedom, humanity must fight for survival. Some cling to safety, others fight. It is a time where a man's choices define him. So yeah, that was the opening cutscene. And here's us. If I remember correctly, we where am I? We uh, we don't really get a get a name. So yeah, there's that. All right. Um. Well, first things first is I'm going to do a quick audio check to make sure everything came through all right. I don't want to have to do all that again, so I have to make sure. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, looks like it's doing pretty good, so they didn't play. So I'm gonna just go ahead and grab that. So the first things first, we're we're a castaway, so uh, obviously we need to get some shelter and 
first we need before we find shelter, let's uh, let's find That's somebody to travel with. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. But I think I drank half the ocean. Do you remember much about what happened? Just that strange man from the Inquisition. And the storm. He sailed us straight into it. And then he... he vanished. The ship must have capsized and we got washed ashore. Looks like the poor devils over there weren't as lucky as us. Any idea where we are? No. Maybe it's another island. We should get off this beach. This wreckage could draw looters and they don't like survivors. We're going to need a weapon. Do you think you could have a look around? See if the tide washed up something we can use? A club, a branch. Anything is better than nothing, right? I'll stay here and keep an eye out for other survivors. I've got something I can use, if we need to fight. Are you going to maybe equip it? A bit hard to use if you don't. Take it out of your bag and put it on your back. It'll be easier to get to if you need it. Um, yeah, sure. The, uh, combat in this game is pretty, pretty cool. Um, like I was saying before the uh, cutscene started, is this is going to be kind of blind for me. There, I don't know how the uh, the gameplay interacts, but I've only done the Dawn's Way playing as a warrior, but now I'm going to try and play as a mage and going through the order, so uh, I don't know how the two are going to intertwine. So it, it'll be kind of blind. Anything that happened to do with the order, like me working for the order, will be completely blind for me. And then anything after Chapter 2 will be completely blind because, well... That's the farthest I've gotten, and I don't really plan on playing that character while I'm playing this one. I'm ready. Shall we go? No time like the present. There must be a path somewhere that leads inland. Let's look for one. Careful. I thought I saw something move in the trees. Get ready. Draw your weapon. Now, the, uh, the cutscene that started, the, the thing was talking about the gods and nonsense like that, is, uh... I can't turn on subtitles on those. The subtitles you see when I'm talking to people are the only subtitles I can get. I hate these things. Yeah, they're not hard to defeat, they just don't like to fucking stand still. And unlike me, they have insta reflexes. Oh yeah, I forgot these bastards. Yeah, they can get past your block with a weapon. It must have been attracted by the smell of the bodies. At least we have some meat now. We need a fire or a stove. If I have to eat rat, I'm not eating it raw. And if we can find a pan, we can fry it. Fried meat will help restore our energy. Even if it is just rat. We could really do with a few healing plants too. Perhaps there's some that grow around here. Keep a lookout. Uh, picking plants, just like in um, Oblivion and Morrowind and stuff, is good for alchemy. Though, the, the uh, you can eat the plants. Or, not eat, but just uh, use the plants, like in their base states, to uh, get, get health like this is plus 10 hit points, and at our current level, we've got 80 hit points, so it's an eighth of our health bar. So that's pretty good. Uh, the thing I really do like about this is you can automatically tell what things do. Do you see those torches? There must be... Do you think we should head for where the torches are? Yes. Yes, we should. Anyways, um, the thing I don't like about it, is, or I do like about it, is that it shows you what the uh, what they do. And unlike like Oblivion and Morrowind where you have to have a certain level of alchemy or whatever. It just shows you. And that's, uh, that's really handy. Ah, lag. Gonna hit F8 real quick. Because I have no idea where this goes. I don't think I've been in here. This cave seems a little eerie. Let's find a different... Okay, fine, fine. Girl. I guess she is a girl. Ah. <sighs> It's a very pretty game as well. 
the only issue I'm gonna have now is I can't just quick save whenever I want to move on. Now I have to actually. Huh? Now I actually have to, uh, you know, save it to something because I have two different characters. Which, you know, it's all right. It just sucks a little bit, not a lot, just a little. Do, 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 do. Look, it's a house. It looks abandoned. Thank you, Captain Obvious. What happened here? Something must have driven the occupants away. Whatever it was, it's certainly not warming me to this place. Let's take a look around. We might find something useful. You have a look inside, and I'll keep a watch out here. I'll call if any more of those rats turn up. Well, thank God you're being so useful. <laughs> I'll stand right here and do nothing, and keep watch, and if anything happens, I'll call you so you can take care of it. Hmm. Yes, this sounds fair. <laughs> Alright, um... Much like in Morrowind and Oblivion, beds are good places to sleep. Uh, you don't have to sleep in them to level up, though, so that's always awesome. Alright, open the chest, since I have the key. Now we have... See, uh, if you get raw ingredients, they uh, looks good. They give you, you know, plus hit points and everything. But if you fry them up, you get more, as it were. If that makes any sense. I know I'm being so helpful. But essentially, you just you want to cook anything you can because while well, it'll, uh, I think that's cooked. Well, it'll be nice just nice and normal doesn't look like there's been anyone in this house for a while all I found was a locked chest unless you have the key or a talent for picking locks it's going to stay locked I've already opened the chest I've opened the chest find anything you mom just a frying pan everything else there is was gold in there oh well at least you can fry up that meat I could do with a little fried meat right now you're probably starving too and we can pretend it's venison. Sweet, sweet venison. Here's your fried meat. At least if you don't think about where it came from. Hey, that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, pretty awesome. We should head further inland. You go on. I really need to rest. That storm took it out of me. I feel exhausted. I'm going to stay here for a while. Okay. I'll come back and get you when I know a bit more about this place. Don't worry about me. Be careful out there. I saw a path to the north. Looks like it led further inland. Maybe there's a village or something up there. Chapter 1, The Forbidden Island. Like I said before, I got to uh, Chapter 2, and I'm a little bit into Chapter 2, so... As we progress, if you look off to your right, you can see a useless bush. Only thing that this game's missing is like a depth of field or depth of, depth of view thing because as things get further away they get really really bad looking ah. Woohoo, level up. see uh, as you level up you get learning points and um, learning points are used to uh, increase different things like you can spend five learning points and some gold to uh, upgrade your strength or your dexterity excuse me, your dexterity or your wisdom by five. And then you've got, you know, your archery. Usually, uh, usually if you upgrade something like archery or uh, staff combat or whatever, it'll take either five or ten points depending on how high it goes up. Like right now on my other tune, I'm level six or seven sword fighting. And, uh, and what that does is it just lets you or I'm at level six or seven sword fighting, and every time now that I'm at that level, every time I want to upgrade, I have to uh, I have to use ten points, learning points. Um, what else? You've got your prospecting, got animals, smithing, and alchemy, which are obviously all under crafting. You've got thievery, which I don't really understand why acrobatics. Th Whoa, what was that? Sorry. Um, basically they're just your different points, uh, 
the more points you put into something, the better you are at it, except for things like, uh... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Like, if you put three points into uh, alchemy, you can make the best potions. Three points into smithing, you can make awesome stuff. Uh, thing that sucks about smithing, though, is you have to get a blank for a sword or whatever in order to make it. <coughs> oh, bless me. Um, open locks. Uh, you The first level lets you open easy locks. The next one lets you open difficult locks. And the last one lets you open uh, impossible locks. Pickpocket, I never put any points into because I've never needed to. Um, sneak is just something you should probably always get. Sneak is useful. Um, acrobatics, I didn't put any points into because I didn't really see the need for it. Create scrolls is something I'm definitely going to be putting point a point into as quickly as possible because it lets me create scrolls, which are useful. Um, seals, Frost, Fireball, and Magic Bullet are all things I have no idea. Uh, I, I get the feeling that there's spells I can cast, but I don't know. I've never, uh, I've never put any points into any of them. Mostly because uh, in order to put points into things, you have to find trainers who will train you in them. And I've never... I, as I said before, I was working for the Dawn, so <laughs> nobody w would train me in magic. There were alchemists, but that was like... There you go. Ah. Suck it. This is a... Uh, the, these ruins like this are popping up all over the uh, the island. And it's generally a good idea to go into them and find what you can. Because, yeah. See, I don't want to drop down there, but that's the only way to get down, so. Ah! Back some. I find it easiest if you back somebody into a corner, because a lot of the time they'll either glitch off, glitch up on it, or they'll just, uh, it, it makes it impossible for them to dodge, which is what you want. You want them to be immobile. Well, for melee combat, I have no idea. I'm gonna fight with magic. It should be interesting. This is why I uh, had to drop down, because that lever is the only way to open up this gate. And this gate leads to the treasure. Picking my mushrooms so I can get some... Opiates. Yeah, the first time I came in here, I uh, fell down that because I had no idea what that was. But you've got to watch out for those because it's fairly obvious so once you know what that does. I fell down there and killed the moth thing, uh, looted the treasure chests, ran all the way up here, and <laughs> like a fucking goldfish, I forgot the fact that I ran up here, and I fell down this again, and I'm like, ooh, a new thing! All oh, these treasure chests are empty! And as I started walking up the curved, the curved steps, I was like, wait a minute. I'm gonna eat me some fried meat. Um, nom nom nom. Save real quick. And let us move on. Yeah, I don't want to get into fights with things right now. I don't have the health or the really skills at all to survive too long. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Hey, you there. What are you doing here? Oh, sorry, I was drinking Thun Guest. Can I move along? Um, this is one of the Don's men. You can generally tell by how, when they're dressed like this, this is their hunter's uniforms. Basically, that means, uh, something. Uh, it means they're a hunter. They gather food for the Don's camp, which is in the swamp. I don't exactly know where I am. Right now, you're on the wrong end of my sword. Right you are. Things becoming any clearer yet? Whoa, keep calm. I'm no threat. I'm the one with the sword, and so I'll decide that, got it? Let's try again. What are you doing here? The boat I was on sank. I landed on the beach. So, one of the crew survived the storms, eh? We'd heard it was just the Inquisitor. You don't look like you're with the Inquisition. I was a stoic. I like how he presents himself. On an Inquisition ship. 
You're lucky they didn't catch you and throw you overboard, or worse, turn you into one of them. Someone or something is looking out for you, and I ain't gonna mess with that. But don't stretch your luck. If the white robes catch you here, you'll be in trouble. If you want my advice, then find yourself a good weapon. You won't get far without one. There may be something around here. Have a look. Come back to me when you just found because something. I'm uh, most comfortable with it. I'm probably going. There's a uh, sword and a shield in here, and I'm probably gonna use that. Simply, well, like I just said, it's because I'm comfortable with it, and it it'll do wonders. Whoa! Sorry about that. It'll do wonders for combat. I'll be able to actually block those little guys. If I can find a shield. Just realized that I don't have a shield. Let's see, do I have a shield? No. Alright, so... No real reason not to use the staff right now, because I do believe the staff does more damage. Nope, blade does 15. Blade wins. Ah, I know... I know anybody who's played this game before is probably screaming at me, blah blah blah, you're looking in the wrong spot for your shield. But I, I, it's been a while since I've been the, to this part. Uh, let's eat some food. I try not to use potions outside of combat unless I've got a copious amount of them. Uh, water bell, water bellows, water bellows. Will uh, water barrels will give you health, kind of like uh, food, pretty much. Um, that guy will take you. It'll he'll show you how to get to the Don's camp and stuff and. But since I'm not going to the dawn, don't need that. So let's go up here. I do believe this is the first place that you can join the order. I don't know. Never done it. So if these guys kill me... Nah, they shouldn't kill me. He said knowing that they were about to butcher him. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Surrender, lawbreaker! Ow! Oh. D do they... And another one for the is monitor. that what's going to happen? Cool. Warriors of the Order can use scrolls and magic crystals. Awesome. Where am I? I want out. Not really. I'm, I'm kind of happy I'm here. Another recruit. The guards brought you here because you transgressed the law. I walked am up I to them. Let's uh, let's get ourselves in the good books. Because I essentially did volunteer, just he smacked me in the face for it. <laughs> nope. I volunteered. I see. Then you must have something to show me. I must have lost it. In that case, it can't be taken into consideration. So I'm a criminal. What happens to me now? By order of the Inquisitor, all criminals are to be conscripted into the Order as warriors. You will complete basic training using the staff. Then you shall learn Ooh. combat magic. If you are talented at magic, we will teach you powerful combat spells. This will give you a path away from crime. You will gain your rewards through diligence and hard work. Now go. Caleb will robe you and explain further what will happen. What does it mean to be a warrior? Oh, I don't actually have to read this. He'll say it. What does it mean to be a warrior of the Order? You start off as just one of many recruits. Few have the ability to become full warriors, but even recruits have their uses. What does a warrior of the Order do? The warriors defend the Holy Flame. They are the arm that delivers the word and fights for humanity. Their skill at fighting with staffs and their powerful combat magic is a fierce combination, but few are good enough to get that far. First, you should focus on basic training. What is your role here? You haven't said. Apart from answering questions from people like you, I am the administrator of the monastery. That keeps me more than busy. Could I help you with that? No. You concentrate on your training and your tests. Tests? What tests? Every master will test you. That is how you will proceed through the ranks here. You must listen well and study hard. That is what we expect from you. Do you have a test for me? Do you have a test for me? I will. We all have tests for the trainees here. 
What can I expect in basic training? As you'd expect, you learn attack and defense using the staff. Lessons taken with the masters come later. So I'm supposed to find Caleb. You're Taylor. Hello, Taylor. Recruit, eh? Don't look at me. I'm not responsible for you. Go and see Where the Caleb. fuck is Caleb? Caleb! Are you Caleb? Yes, you're Caleb. Hey, you need something. Master Palace says you have a robe for me. Oh, he did, did he? Well, you can have your robe after you've earned it. Sweep the entrance hall. All the entrance hall. Right. Do you have a broom? <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm only joking with you. You were actually going to do it too, weren't you? Look, here's your robe. Put it on before someone less honest than me takes you bow, for a ride. Bow. There are whores in this game, so... There we go. See? Robe suit everyone. We all look equally daft. Oh, and here's a map of the monastery. Take care of it. You don't want to be looking daft and lost. You're looking remarkably relaxed. You didn't volunteer, did you? Yes. Yes, I volunteered. You must have some kind of death wish. Don't you know what happens to us lot? Tell me. Most of the new recruits don't live long. We're just handy fodder sent to do whatever the Inquisitor wants, whatever he's up to. We get a bit of training, then most of us get sent into the ruins, and not many have come back. So I'd keep that whole volunteering thing to yourself. A lot of the men here weren't given a choice. You'll be branded as a crazy. All right. Where can I get some sleep? I had better show you. Okay, my dog's gonna start Okay, so where now. do I sleep? I'll be right back. Let me show you. All right, hello, and I'm back. Let's follow Caleb to our sleeping quarters. I really like the look of the order, almost like a Jedi Knights type thing. Ah, I see we have a new little lawbreaker in our midst. Lawbreaker? Well, no matter what you've done in the past, you'll get a clean slate here. At least for now. Grab a staff, get back here sharpish. We'll soon have you bruised and battered like the rest. Who are you? I'm Master Eric. I know what you're thinking. I seem like a nice guy, a decent chap. So before you think about testing me or disobeying my orders, consider how much you value your liver. Uh, I like it. His name's Steve. We go drinking every other week, you know. Why do I need a staff? Because everyone learns how to fight here. The staff is a noble weapon, in the right hands as deadly as any blade. Although it pays to have a good blade handy, too. And I think it's wise to see just how much training you're going to need. No sense in your dying too quick. Where's your staff? You're observant. I like that. I've done my training. Now it's up to you to do yours. Besides, if I need to, I could take a staff off any of these lot without breaking a sweat. Where do I get a staff? Look around the monastery, lad. Use those eyes of yours. All right. I'll be right back, Master Eric. That's more like it. Oh. This is the training courtyard. You'll be seeing plenty of this. It's where your basic training will take place. How long does basic training take? Until Master Eric says you're done. Then Master Vitus will continue your training. Come on, I'll show you some more. You'll share a chamber with Hemlar. I'll show you where it is. Good man. Sorry, I'm doing sound effects. Weep. You'll see me jumping around a lot in this game, and that's because jumping is faster than running for some reason. I'll be right back. And we're back again, following Mr. Caleb. Caleb! Hey, Caleb. When we get to the room, you want to chill, have some drinks, do some moonwalking. You know, guy stuffs. I don't think Caleb wants to hang out. You are the newcomer. I'm new here. This recruit has been murdered. What do you know of this?
Nothing. I just arrived here. Nothing? I've just arrived here. I heard you're short of new recruits. You'll have even fewer if this is how you greet them. I am not accusing you. Your recent arrival means you have two qualities I need. You could not have committed this crime. And you need to prove yourself here. You can start by discovering who was responsible for this. Awesome. I get to discover a murderer. Why do you want me to investigate well, he just body explained. You think you're not up to the task? How do you know I am? Your manner and appearance. You aren't from this island, which makes your presence illegal. It also means you are a survivor. I'm surrounded by books and bookworms. I need survivors. Awesome. I don't know what happened here. I don't even know any of the people here. Then you shall be objective. Examine cold facts, for instance. This man was stabbed in the back, and there is no sign of magic, which is why there is no reason for me to give personal attention to this case. If you want me to investigate, where should I start? Master Vitus will aid you. I have more important things to consider. Aren't you but I must know if this was a petty crime or something more. Come to me when you have answers. Where do you think you're going? Huh? 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 I like his armor. I want your armor. This is your chamber. Well, uh, nobody could know that would happen to Hemla. Terrible business. Well, you'll cope. Uh, and now I have to, uh... Staff? A cook? Staff? Servant? Cook? Hmm. Just my little joke. Sorry, have to amuse myself around here. Try Carlson, the smith. Apparently I'm supposed to follow him. All quests. Alright, let's look at him. Alright. It's a sausage. Really? It... Somebody murdered him for weed? I hope not, because that would just... Alright, so we've investigated the crime scene. Okay, let's look, take all that. Now let's look at our inventory. Let's see. He was killed with this knife. see. Alright, so he was killed with the knife. And they left the weed and the weed reefer. Okay. Not really sure what that means. 